Good morning. Good morning. It's like uh, like 25 minutes to 7 a.m. I'm up. I read some comments on my video about Chris Titus Tech and they're talking about Fedora again. I'm actually on my way to the gym. I just need to have some water in my face and then I want to go down and brrr, lift some heavy shit and then go pick up some parcels. But a lot of people, they want to correct me when I'm talking about Red Hat Linux and Fedora and that Fedora is basically based on Red Hat Linux and not uh, or the other way around. My brain just had a went crazy. It's, it's early morning. So uh, the, the notion is that, uh, well, Fedora is based on Red Hat Linux Enterprise. That's what we are talking about, or Red Hat Linux, because that's what we regard as Red Hat Linux, Red Hat Linux Enterprise. That's what 99% of people in this world know as Red Hat. Nobody, or nobody, but most people don't really remember Red Hat from the 90s and, and let's say up to 2005. Well, actually, I think it was like 2003 or four that Fedora came about and then Red Hat was kind of out of the way, like traditional Red Hat. And we only, and then we got basically Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So Red Hat Enterprise Linux is what most people, if not everyone in the Linux community nowadays know, because there's not that many people like me, like me out there that use Linux in the 90s, okay? So when they say that Red Hat is based, or Fedora is based on Red Hat, they think Red Hat Enterprise Linux. That's what they say when they say Red Hat. Nowadays, when we say Red Hat, or the community say Red Hat, they mean Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So if you want to clarify that you mean the old Red Hat, you kind of have to say it. Well, I mean the old Red Hat from the 90s and early 2000s. Now we're on the same page. But then again, Red Hat from the early 2000s and the 90s is not the same as Red Hat Enterprise Linux. They had a totally different focus back then. They were not that focused on stability and the server market and stuff like that. The, the traditional original Red Hat Linux was kind of what Fedora is today. It's, it's kind of what Ubuntu is today, as I call it, or, or an Ubuntu LTS. They were focused on the desktop, the workstations and the desktops. So they were a little bit less conservative when it came to stability and stuff like that. They were a little bit more, like I said, like Ubuntu, they, they shift, shipped a lot of newer packages. So saying that Fedora, even if it's based on Red Hat of the old, is based on a server operating system, it's not really true. Could you use it as a server operating system? Yes, but we have to understand the focus of set distribution. Now you know that, you're informed with that information, and I have first-hand info, uh, uh, not information, but I have first-hand information, but first-hand experience with distributions like Red Hat in the 90s. I started my Linux journey on Red Hat from the 90s. This stupid idiot. So why don't we do what every fucking Linux user here in the world is saying? Read the fucking manual. So I'm going to fuck a manual online and read it. I'm going to insert my penis and dimp my testicles into the documents of the door because apparently the amazingly great Linux community that say that everyone should read the manual don't fucking read the manual. It's not a long, it's not a long document. I just turned 15 there. It's not a long document. I am tired. I am dyslexic. I will give content, context to what we are reading. So it could be a long video. After that, I'm going to go and take my frustration out on some fucking heavy weights. But let's go and read some fucking documents here. So I will, can you guys see? Yeah, yeah. What is the, here? Yeah, this is from the documentation, doc.fedoraproject.org. I, you guys are uh, over here. So if I look away, that's because I'm looking at my OBS studio uh, window. Fedora and Red Hat Li Enterprise Linux. What is the difference? Relationship between Fedora and well, I would just call it uh, Enterprise Linux or something like that. Enterprise Linux and Fedora both are open source operating systems. They are related projects with Fedora being upstream of Enterprise Linux, where Fedora is community supported project suitable for different kind of users. Enterprise Linux is business oriented software supporting via commercial support subscription. Uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux is an enterprise Linux operating system. It is oriented towards enterprise and commercial use. It's certified for many hardware and cloud performances. What this means is that you can use this on server hardware and do cloud tasks with most uptime 
Will that mean that you can't do that on Fedora or use Fedora as a server? No. It just means that Red Hat has been certified to run the Xeon processors. It's been run, been certified to run server grade level motherboards, uh, hard drives, CPUs, RAMs, and so on to help give you more uptime and more stability. And it's supported by Red Hat uh, via virtual subscription options. Compared to Fedora, Red Hat Linux Enterprise and stabi- uh, Enterprise stability and enterprise readiness over the latest technologies and web release. So they are, again, that's why you get a little bit of older versions of software because they want to make sure it's really, really stable. More information, uh, information about Red Hat's offering can be found on or at Red Hat's website. Individual software developers can access a free of charge subscription as part of the Red Hat development program, which is actually amazing. Developers can use Red Hat Linux, can use Red Hat Enterprise Linux on up to 16 physical or virtual machines for development. Great. Quality assurance the, the demos and small product use and so on. So on. And for me, quest again, you guys get what I'm saying here. Let's go down to Fedora. Fedora is developed by the Fedora project and sponsored by Red Hat. It follows its own release schedule with a new version approximately every six months. Fedora provides a modern Linux operating system uh, utilized m- utilizing many of the latest technologies. It is free for all users and support supported via the Fedora community. Here's the part. Here's the part that a lot of people don't get. This part down here. I even see Esnik be confused about this. So I will say to all of you amazing people out there, Read the fucking manual. If you are one of those people that think you are higher intelligence than everyone else and you know everything because you heard a YouTuber say it, read the document. To create Red Hat Enterprise Linux, some version of Fedora is forked and, entered an, and enters an extensive development slash testing and certification process to become the new versions of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So yeah, you take Fedora. You say, now we are not going to do a new version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux, so we are freezing the Fedora repos. Then we are forking it and making it as humanly possible stable or as stable as humanly possible. So you can pee on your fucking server, it will still be running. And then we are certifying it for server hardware, not your desktop. There's a massive difference between the CPUs, the RAM, the motherboards you're running in your desktop, even the fucking graphic card and the same equipment on the server so they are certifying it according to the specification that the server market the enterprise world want and then they are making red hat enterprise linux so yeah red hat enterprise linux is a fork of fedora or based on fedora that's not meaning that it is fedora it's just that they take fedora and they use fedora as a core system to make Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Remember that people say that Red Fedora is based on Red Hat or a fork of Red Hat, call it what I heard, fork, fork based, respain, whatever name you want to use. They are technically correct if they mean Red Hat from the 90s. But as they explain down here in the history of Red Hat, Red Hat in the 90s was not certified in the same, it didn't have the same focus on stability they didn't have the same you know support structure and stuff like that it had a version of it called uh, e let's go down here for enterprise history of red hat enterprise linux and fedora the red hat first offered an enterprise Linux support subscription for red hat linux 6.1 i think i started with four point something it was not a separate let's see when this came out by the way 99 you guys can see that so 1999 6.1 oh sorry it was it was replanted okay it was not a separate product but a subscription offering was but a subscription offering offering was branded as red hat 6.2 e sequentially red hat started creating a separate product with commercial service level agreement and longer life cycle based on red hat linux and later on fedora so the first version of Red Hat Linux Enterprise, uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, was based on Red Hat of the old. Because Red Hat of the old, like I said, you can see some more difference here. Uh, as I said, was more a la what Ubuntu is today. You know, they were not rolling release or, or the latest and greatest and stuff like that, but they were more like, you know, let's make a stable 
desktop that can be used for everything. A server, a desktop, a multimedia station, all of that shit. But they wanted to make sure that it was really, really well optimized for the servers. So they started to base the first couple of versions of Red Hat Enterprise Linux on Fedora. When I say Fedora, I mean Fedora before, or sorry, not Fedora, Red Hat, and I mean Red Hat before Fedora. Then they wanted to do a community version because the community kind of got a little bit angry, to be honest. They were, there were a little bit of uh, drama going around with Red Hat back then about that. So they made Fedora and based that also on that version of Red Hat of the old, meaning the Red Hat that was based as a desktop operating system and not as a server. So you don't, you didn't get certified, uh, you know, quality software that then is based that, that that then Red Hat was made of. It was basically like Fedora was basically based on Red Hat's version of Ubuntu, where nowadays Red Hat Enterprise Linux is kind of, you know, Ubuntu server for lack of a better word. They put, as they said, they put a lot of effort into stability and stuff like that. So when they did that, when Fedora came around, they used Fedora instead of Red Hat from the 90s as a base for Red Hat Linux Enterprise, or Enterprise Linux, sorry. Meaning that, well, Fedora, kind, like Fedora of the 90s, early 2000, is kind of continuing its philosophy, its ethos, its developments, uh, ideas. Uh, it, it, the point of Red Hat from the 90s, early 2000, is basically what Fedora is today. It's, it's Fedora is a continuation of that. If you think of, if you think about it, you know it's like what they're doing with Fedora today. That's kind of was the goal with Red Hat from the 90s and early 2000s. But they wanted a server, enterprise server, workstation, oriented system because that's where the money is. You know that's that's why they are making money. They can't do that or could not do that, uh, or they figured out they could not do that reliably on. Red Hat of the 90s and 2000s, they needed a specific operating system for the enterprise world. That's why we get Red Hat Enterprise Linux. I hope you understand. I, I explained myself here. See you all later. And um, to all of you read the fucking menu people, I read the menu. I do read the menu. <laughs> like, I do. So, yeah, if you want to yell at me, read the menu yourself. Bye-bye.